Around the time of birth, the ovary possesses about a million primordial follicles, where there are flattened granulosa cells surrounding a primary oocyte, which has paused in the diplotene stage of prophase I. They will remain in this state until menstrual cycles begin. And since only a few are activated each month, then the ovary has this reserve of primordial follicles until the time of menopause where they may be exhausted. Every month after menarche, about a thousand of these primordial follicles will then be recruited to become primary follicles. In this recruitment, the oocyte becomes larger, the flattened granulosa cells become cuboidal in shape, and reproduce so that they completely surround uh, the oocyte with more cells. At first, only a few of these granulosa cells become cuboidal, and the follicle could be uh, referred to as an intermediate a follicle before becoming a primary follicle. Key in this transition are the signals being made by the granulosa cells. There are a number of them, such as the KIT ligand, which is uh, binding to the KIT receptor on the oocyte, and also the hormone, anti-mullerian hormone AMH. This hormone is best known for the repression of the Mullerian ducts in the male reproductive system, but it has other roles, and it helps to limit the number of primordial follicles which are recruited to become primary follicles. And so the granulosa cells which make AMH are inhibiting other primordial follicles from likewise being recruited to become primary follicles. This will then limit the number of uh, primary follicles made in any month. In mice, which do not make AMH, all of the follicles uh, become activated and uh, the ovaries then exhaust their supply uh, of follicles much earlier than would occur in normal mice. So this seems to be a role in, of AMH in limiting the activation of primordial follicles to primary follicles.